I want to take you over the final moments of Hussein ibn Ali. <laughs> when you look at the final wasiyat of Imam al Hussein when he speaks to his son Imam Sajjad, you see that he says many things to his son, but one of the things that I've always thought about is when he says to his son, Oh son, when you see one of my Shias, tell them that when you drink a glass of water, remember my thirst. And I used to always wonder why this is the case, and then in a majlis, I heard this narration. About 200 years ago, a Sayyid, a scholar, sees in his dream. Imam al Hussein is conversing with his mother, Sayyidah Fatima al Zahra. He says to his mother, Oh mother, did you see what they did to me on that day? Wasn't I already a broken man? Wasn't I already destroyed? Oh mother, I carried body after body after body for the whole of the day. And look what they did to me. But mother, there's one thing that broke me from inside. He said, Mother, as I sat upon the saddle and I looked forwards, I could see the flowing river in front of me. He says, Oh, Mother, the birds used to swoop down and drink from that river. Oh, Mother, the horses of the enemies used to drink from that river. Oh, Mother, even the wild dogs that used to walk up and down the streets used to drink from that river. But the grandson of Muhammad was denied the water and stayed thirsty for three days. <laughs> In Ziyadina, here Imam al Zamana, the way he talks about his grandfather will break you, and I beg you all to read this Ziyara if you can. He says, and I will paraphrase this and keep this as succinct as possible. It is said that when Imam al Hussein was struck, it is said that at the time of Asr, there was a shower of arrows that covered the sky and the sky was so dark it was as if it was night these arrows embedded into the body of Hussein ibn Ali. People were running forward and embedding spears into the body of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. People who had nothing to throw at him or nothing to fire at him would pick up stones and sand and throw it towards his face. It is said that Imam al Hussein fell from his horse, and as he falls from his horse, his body is not on the ground nor is it on the horse's saddle. It is suspended upon a bed of arrows. It is said if you go to Karbala, and as brother Nuri said, inshallah, we all get the visitation of Karbala, inshallah. You will see that the maqam where Imam al Hussein falls onto the ground and where he's finally beheaded is a long distance. If you try and walk, it may take you up to half an hour. Why? It is said that when Imam al Hussein falls onto the ground, the enemies began to encircle him and they were talking to each other. They were asking each other who is going to do this final act. Shimmer steps forward. As Shimmer steps forward, he grabs the beard of Imam al Hussein and he drags Imam al Hussein from his beard across the dust of Karbala. It is said that he comes to his final resting place. It is said at this moment, it is not that he beheaded Imam al Hussein just like that. It is said, remember, this is the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib. As Imam al Hussein is laying there on the floor, the enemies begin to circle him. They were walking around him one by one. It is said, listen to this, it is said that the enemies were laughing, laughing at his plight. And Imam al Hussein, you, in Ziyarat al Nahi, you will read this. Imam al Hussein was clenching his hands like this. He was clenching his hands like this because this is the son of a warrior. It is said when he was clenching his hands, he was trying to get up. And every time he would put any weight through his hands and try to get up, someone would step forward and hit him with a stick. When he tried it again, someone would run forward and kick him back down to the ground. It is said that at that time, Shimmer steps forward. It is said that at the time Shimmer steps forward, remember this. And when he steps forward, Imam Hussein looks at him. He says, you are the man that was foretold to kill me. It is said that Shimmer then starts taking the knife, the dagger to the neck of Imam Hussein, and he cuts it 12 times. Why 12 times? Because this, this knife, this dagger is blunt. Imam Mahdi says, for the whole of my life, I will cry over your Masaib until my tears turn to blood. He says, I see it so clearly, I feel all of his pain, 
Whenever I close my eyes, I just see the head of Hussein. So I'm gonna cry. A river of blood to know the son of the prophet, the high and the holy. The loved one of Zahra, the purest of ladies, his blessings are infinite. There is no one like him if you stand beneath his door. Your prayers are guaranteed, his status is so great. And his blood is so pure The dust from beside his grave For all ailments is a cure So I'm gonna cry A river of blood tonight When I stand in Karbala I just see a lonely man Who stands covered in a sword clutched in his hand He stands at his loved ones He lay lifeless on the sands He knows that the enemies Will soon loot his caravan The angels are weeping Whilst watching him in pain The heavens are ringing I'm gonna cry a river of blood tonight. May God bless the martyrs who gave up their lives for you, whose parched lips were thirsty. They were covered in wounds. The young Ali was murdered in plain view. Remember, who stared at the arrow and only let out a coo. The heads all were severed and raised high upon spears. The ladies were dragged in chains without veils and in tears. So I'm gonna cry. A river of blood tonight The skies all become dark With spears and arrows He falls from his horses Blood from his veins flows His cheeks break upon the dust Surrounded by shadows His grey hair is dyed with Strangers, so I'm gonna cry a river of blood tonight. Listen to these final moments if you can bear it. <laughs> the ladies rush to you <laughs> on your chest was she. Imagine this sight. The ladies rush to you. On your chest was shimmered a red carpet of blood. The air filled with laughter. Your vision was fading. Your vision was fading as your breaths were shallow. And what did Mapa say in his final moments? He, your eyes fixed on Zainab. Your eyes fixed on Zainab.
The women and children were calling Abbas's name. So I'm gonna cry a river of blood tonight. A river of blood tonight.